IE is proud to announce three market-first innovations as a free ECU tune update on all stages for Audi B9 and B9.5, S4, S5, and SQ5. Gain a serious competitive edge with our advanced anti-lag launch control strategy that also includes functionality for rolling anti-lag and instant in-vehicle launch RPM switching without having to reflash your tune. Get ready to up your launch game and gain a seriously competitive edge. This advanced launch control programming uses a safe and stable fuel cut strategy and spark control to build engine load and boost. By spooling the turbo before takeoff, it will deliver an aggressive boosted launch that will greatly improve your zero to 60 and 60 foot acceleration. In early testing, we have seen stock turbo cars cut two tenths and higher off their 60 foot launch with no other changes. Additionally, IE anti-lag launch control gives you a massive edge in a roll racing scenario with rolling anti-lag. This functionality allows you to hold a set speed and RPM while building boost for a gut punching full boost rolling launch. Lastly, we have made it easy for you to change your launch RPM settings instantly, right from the driver's seat. No more flashing back and forth to different TCU tunes to test and change your launch RPM. Launch RPM can be set in real time within 100 RPM increments from 2000 all the way up to 4000 RPM using your cruise control stock. This launch control programming is all handled on the engine tuning side, not the transmission. This feature is available for all B9 and B9.5 models with or without a transmission tune. However, for the best acceleration, gear shift points, higher rev limit, and the best power delivery, the IETCU tune is highly recommended. These launch control functions are advanced features and will take some time to perfect. Before you start, here are some best practices to make sure you get optimum performance. As a safety measure, the engine oil must be at 145 degrees Fahrenheit or higher before the anti-lag will allow you to use it. Anytime you're at a complete stop, you'll be able to adjust your launch control RPM using the cruise control stock and the RPM gauge. Push up on it all the way to raise the RPM and down all the way to lower the RPM. On a B9 pre-facelift car, it will adjust in 100 RPM increments. So 2800 RPM would be 2800 RPM launch control. On a B9 and a half vehicle, it will show it in 250 increments, but it will adjust in 150 increments. So when you don't see it raise, you know you did one. When you see it raise, it was two increments. On both vehicles, you can hold it down and it will lower faster or hold it all the way up and it will raise quicker if you wanna make a rapid change. Whenever you set the launch RPM, it will stay at this launch RPM until you change it again. Once you have chosen your launch control RPM, Turn the traction control all the way off by holding down the button. You don't actually have to turn it off to enable anti-lag launch control, but the throttle may cut power and you will not get AMAX shifting without it all the way off. The amount of PSI and time it takes to build that boost will greatly depend on the size of the turbo and your altitude. Stock turbos will spool very quickly and probably build full boost, while hybrid turbos will spool a little bit slower. From here, all the steps are the same as factory launch control. Put your left foot on the brake, put the car into sport mode, and then give it gas to bring it up to your launch RPM. Once you've engaged anti-lag and you're at full boost, just let off the brake for a really fast launch. Using rolling anti-lag, the car must be in manual mode, and again, traction control all the way off. Bring the car up to a desired speed, and then downshift to get the RPMs higher. Rolling anti-lag will be engaged by the cruise control stock. You must be between 5% and 75% throttle input before pushing the cruise control stock forward. Push and hold the cruise control stock at the first soft stop. If you go all the way forward to where full cancel clicks, it will disengage lowering anti-lag. When you're at the speed and RPM you want, give it a little bit of gas above 5% throttle, hold down the cruise control stock, and then full throttle. And when you're ready, this will build up boost and let off for a rolling launch. However, for best results, you'll want to be going between 40 to 60 miles an hour and above 3,500 RPM. 
If you are at too low of a speed or too low of an RPM, the engine will struggle to make the boost and rolling anti-lag will lug it and you will not get that rolling launch. If you would like to engage rolling anti-lag or practice using rolling anti-lag with the cruise control stock without driving the car, you can do this by putting the car into park, bringing the gas above 5%, up to the RPM you want, and then push the cruise control stock to that half point. This will give you a safe way to practice. Using our advanced rolling anti-lag feature will take a bit of practice to perfect. Don't rush the process. And in no time, you'll be a launch control master. And of course, always practice this in a safe and controlled environment, responsibly.